One solution to tracking the various paths that light can take to reach the eye is to shoot a lot more rays per pixel and bounce them around in hopes of finding light sources. This is called path tracing. It can be very noisy to start with, but can give correct results with enough time. This is a real-time demo by Evan Wallace in WebGL, one I recommend you try yourself. Notice the color bleeding effect of light bouncing off the walls onto the spheres. You can also make objects have glossy reflections instead of the sharp ones we see with classical ray tracing. This demo uses what is called progressive rendering, shooting more and more rays for each pixel and blending in the results. The longer you wait, the better the image gets. You can even use path tracing to render scenes from Minecraft. Here's one I made using the free chunky path tracer, giving a beam of light effect on the scene. A basic pure path tracer is pretty straightforward to write. You generally just shoot more rays in sensible directions and sum up the light contributions found. Where all the time gets burned is that you're shooting tens of thousands of rays per pixel or more. This scene took about 16 hours with 12 CPU threads, and it was still a bit noisy at that point. I should mention there are many other algorithms, such as photon mapping and bidirectional path tracing, that work to get the best of both worlds. The general idea is to send light out from emitters using rays, depositing radiance wherever the rays reach. The scene is then ray traced from the camera's view, and the emitted light is gathered. Algorithms such as path tracing can give unparalleled realism, given enough time. Set up properly, a rendering can be a true simulation of how light percolates through a scene, not just an artistic approximation. I used to work on a global illumination system back in the 80s and 90s. Even back then, we knew that path tracing could, given enough computer cycles, get the right answer. The running joke was that we were mostly just biding our time, coming up with optimizations for other algorithms while waiting the 50 years needed for computers to get powerful enough to shoot 10,000 rays per pixel to get the right answer. Nowadays, I think you probably need more like 100,000 or a million rays per pixel. But by my watch, I just need to wait another quarter century for rendering to be over. And then the singularity comes anyway, assuming people don't put more objects in their scenes.